My name is Bob Conti, and I worked closely with Dr. Bruce R. Baker for 36 years, documenting his thoughts, development, and vision for the Men Speak Language systems. Bruce was a kind, generous, and adventurous individual. Part of his vitality came from the Latin phrase, which translates to, by teaching we learn, taught to him by Miss Johnston at Logansport High School. Bruce became a brilliant applied linguist and visionary. One story he told me at the beginning of our relationship was that he had met a friend with cerebral palsy who he was teaching to drive. As he spent time with his friend, some folks would make inappropriate comments about this individual. Another significant encounter Bruce had was with a man who could not speak. He used a scanning system with a letter and number board. If he didn't hit the switch in time, he had to wait until the system went through 25 letters and 10 numbers to get to the letter he missed. There was no reverse. Remember, this was the 1970s. Bruce said, no linguist made this system. Hence, his mission began to figure out how to make a linguistically sophisticated system yet simple to use. Bruce had met Barry Romick in 1979 and partnered with the Prenke Romick Company. PRC's ongoing support was vital as Bruce tried different men speak language models until one worked. Dr. Baker's first attempt was to use hieroglyphics as a model to produce sentences. However, after linguistically organizing more than a thousand sentences, he realized that none of the individuals who tried his sentences were talking. Then Bruce tried to set up a sequenced icon system as a syllable-based system. The syllable-based system failed quickly because there were too many syllables in combination. Then the magic of MinSpeak theory was born when Bruce started to use icons to code single words, verbs, then adjectives, after which he had a stroke of genius around how to pair pronouns and helping verbs. The English grammar really started to synthesize. Bruce said, this is strangely semantic. We seem to be having meaningful relationships between and among parts of speech. Within six months, we documented icon sequences for upwards of 2,000 words, and the Prentke Roma Company began shipping Bruce's first language system called Word Strategy circa 1986. Word Strategy was the foundation for multiple language systems in both English and other languages and has evolved into Unity and Lamp Words for Life. For the next 26 years, Bruce, Bruce traveled six continents, teaching and learning. Yes, Dr. Baker missed going to one continent, Antarctica. One important key to Bruce's wisdom is the use of MinSpeak. You do not need to be literate. Bruce often commented that many people who used AAC more than 30 years ago had low literacy skills. Bruce's genius to instantiate unity and lamp words for life with the ability to circumvent this problem is a major benefit. So please remember in honor of Dr. Baker, by teaching you will learn, another famous Bruce quote is, if you are teaching AAC and you sow language, you will reap communication. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lindsay Payton Cargill, and I'm the Director of Therapy Services here at Bridgeway Academy. I'm also a speech language pathologist. I was so proud to be in the audience that night at Philanthropitch and was so grateful for the support of folks like Wright Pat, IGS, the judges, and all of the fellow audience members. Um, what you just saw Aaron pitch on that video is becoming a reality right here in this building. Um, the next segment is going to be recognizing the contributions of semantic compaction systems 
and the late Dr. Bruce Baker, who developed the software and language that our students use on communication devices just like this each and every day. His work has made so many things possible for the students and clients here at Bridgeway Academy, and it's really been amazing to uh, be able to witness to honor Bruce's immeasurable contributions to the field of augmentative and alternative communication, we are pleased to announce the full name of our center here in this new building. The Dr. Bruce Baker AAC Evaluation Center. This center will help so many people access their human rights to communication, as Erin talked about in her pitch. We are so proud to use the tools that Bruce has created here at Bridgeway Academy. It is my honor to introduce my friend, Erin Neely, co-founder and executive director of Bridgeway Academy. Michael came to Bridgeway Academy at 30 years old, having never spoken a word. He had received traditional speech and special education services since he was a young boy, but no one had been able to help him find his voice. Imagine being locked into your own mind, having no way to reach those around you. Like Michael, approximately 4.2 million Americans are living with communication disorders caused by autism, cerebral palsy, stroke, and more. And many of these voiceless individuals live right here in our community. Since we founded Bridgeway Academy 15 years ago, our speech therapists have been on the cutting edge of AAC, which stands for Augmentative and Alternative Communication. AAC includes several forms of tools and strategies like this speech generating device to enhance or even replace verbal language. We've proven that we have a successful and sustainable business model, growing our unique therapy and education services from just 12 clients to over 350 clients per year, and we are just getting started. Through word of mouth alone, we've maintained a wait list of over 100 prospective clients, and now we need your help to ensure that even more children and adults living without a voice are given their human right to communicate. Your investment of $100,000 will provide critical resources like evaluative equipment, additional training, and staff to scale our speech therapy department and generate nearly $3 million in total revenue within five years. Let's break that down. We'll start by evaluating two new clients per month, increasing capacity to at least six new evaluations per month. After the initial evaluation, we know that a client will need ongoing therapy support to become a successful communicator. This creates a revenue model that becomes self-sustaining within 15 months, injecting more than $1.5 million in profit back into the programs and mission of Bridgeway Academy. Most importantly, though, your generosity will increase the number of new voices at Bridgeway by 260%. This won't just impact individuals receiving direct services, but will cause a ripple effect in the community, paving the way for future friendships, inclusive workplaces, and opportunity for all. Remember, Michael, after receiving evaluation services and speech at Bridgeway, his mom called our therapist to say thank you. She reported that she never knew that her son was intelligent or had anything to say. Today, you can find Michael expressing his feelings and using his words to independently order a cheeseburger and fries at McDonald's. <laughs> Help us give others like Michael an opportunity to find their voice. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit more about how the investment would be used specifically? Sure. Uh, the investment would go towards um, providing additional equipment. Um, a lot of the evaluations that we are doing are for different types of speech generating devices mm -hmm. and different types of modes of communication. Mm -hmm. 
And so it would provide us the opportunity to purchase some more of that equipment, hardware and software, which actually is pretty expensive. A device like this runs about $7,500. Um, and so you can imagine that that doesn't go very far. The other piece is to scale our, our therapists and to increase the number of therapists so that we can continue to grow the program and increase the number of voices. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So your revenue is coming from Medicare reimbursement. Is it coming from patient's pocketbook? Where does it come from? Great question. We have a variety of different funding sources that we try to tap into for our families. Um, some of them, unfortunately, are private paying for an evaluation, which costs about $500, um, as well as for speech services. What's the percentage we, what, of I'm sorry? private? Percentage of private? Um, because of the cost, it's pretty low. Um, we actually have a staff scholarship fund that actually raises money for families that don't have access to some of those funding sources. And so a lot of times the, the staff will actually vote to approve funding for an evaluation or for speech therapy or other therapy services as needed. Um, but we do also um, bill some forms of government, uh, state, and state and county funds for therapies. And you mentioned you had 100 plus clients in the pipeline. Correct. What's the biggest hurdle to access those clients? Right I'm now? sorry, I didn't. What, what is the biggest hurdle to access those clients currently? Um, a lot of it is that we have not done any marketing because we haven't been able to increase the number of therapists to serve those clients. So we do have over 100 clients waiting for services. Um, and they come to us via word of mouth, usually uh, through a school district or through a county board of DD rep. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're hoping to be in a place where we can continue to grow to serve those needs. Can you tell us more about what it feels like to hear a child's voice for the first time, for oh, a teacher and for a, and for a parent? Oh, it's an amazing, amazing thing to be a part of and something that I feel so fortunate uh, to be able to experience at Bridgeway, um, to, to see a parent in the lobby, hear their child say, hi, mom or by mom for the first time is just the most rewarding thing. Great shoes. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs>